Yo, Kazar, everybody, what is up? And welcome back to an episode of Flotsam. Oh, um, Gideant, my leg is not my leg, not my leg anymore. Just my foot, just my foot has fallen asleep. How is this humanely, humanely, humanly possible? But welcome back, everybody, to some Flotsam. Last time I built this weird Johnny ass looking thing right here. And that's actually kind of bugging me. Ooh, tis bugging me, but uh, it's not too bad. How are we doing, everybody? Let us take a look at our inventory. 12 firewood, 6 logs, 4 plastic, and 30 food. Have we actually moved on? No, we haven't. Oh, we haven't even built the sail yet. Uh, are people... Are people still going out there swimming, or...? No, no one's going out there swimming. What the...? St get to it, you lazy buggers! Do you know We'll have one person go over there for that. And we'll have one person go over there for that. Do you know what would be really cool? There's this little island right here. Oh, never mind. It's part of the big island. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Nope. Okay, wait. Nope, wait. You know when... It, oh, you know when you just get stuck in that kind of perpetual kind of looking like you're just... <gasps> about to blow up face. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate it when that happens. Tis absolutely annoying. Ew. I can't seem to select... Are we still building a boat or are we... I know we're... I don't know what is going on. By the way, my new favourite thing to do when I'm bored and I'm waiting for time to pass is if I click on the buoy, uh, that's actually probably a better one to click on. But if we click on the buoy, right, and then we go... <laughs> we can sink the buoy for a little bit. I don't know if that's supposed to be in the game or not. Um, I have no clue, but I've been thinking. I've been diddling away in my little brain pan about... Future DLC, I guess you could call it. Um, one second, I need to take a drink. <sighs> oh, by the way, I've literally just got off work, so I might be a little bit loopy. Um, but I've been thinking about future DLC for this game. Now, we all... Oh, great. Me, me, me. One second. Okay, so as I was saying before my computer's fan decided to be all annoying and stuff, um... One of the future updates that is coming, I think, after Christmas. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but one of the updates coming is a weather system. Which sounds really cool. You know, like, rainy weather, stormy weather. Can't really have a drought on the ocean, can you? No. Um, but yeah, so, like, a harsh weather system is coming in, which is awesome and it got me thinking that it be it would be cool to be able to oh wrong one um to, to, to like attach yourself to islands so it, it it'd be cool if like you know the waves start crashing in and throwing your city about and breaking it and stuff like that and uh it could it could possibly move your your little floaty city around on the map, you know, so normally you're pretty much centered dead map Yeah, you're pretty much in the dead center of the map Rough, Roughly Roughly, I'd say roughly Oh, I actually just noticed I have quite a lot of fish to go fish. Yeah, see you you kind of centered almost dead center in this radius uh, On the map. I don't think my boat is building That kind of sucks. Uh, so yeah, so what would be cool is if it like, you know, shook you about and pushed you around stuff. And it'd be cool to moor yourself to an island. You know, like, haven't, have well, instead of mooring yourself to an island, you know, you probably could take it and click on, uh, click it as an anchor. You know, throw an anchor down and it anchors your, um, well, yeah, it anchors your base in place. Which would be pretty cool. But... I think being able to do something with the islands would be a lot more fun. 
because at the minute the map and i'm just going to adjust myself uh the map is a loop so when you get to the end of the map you loop back to the beginning um which is cool because it allows you to go back and you know keep getting things and keep rescuing people and all this kind of stuff um and hopefully they will put in Okay, maybe number an apocalyptic scenario, like a giant tsunami is coming after you or something, and you have to get to, a, like, the top of what remains of Mount Everest or something like that uh, to survive. You know, you've got to get somewhere to survive. That'd be cool. Also, you know, um, so, like, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it last time, you know, the diving bell. Because, look, right there, you can actually see stuff under the map, and it would be cool to go down and just f fish it up. There's something, is that, yeah, there. There's something there as well. I'm trying to find a really good example of it. There, there's a good example of it. If we, there's a boat. Oh, oh, that was a bit loud. There's a boat right there. So you know, it'd be cool to bring over, maybe a, a thick ship, a slow, a really slow ship, but like a thick with two C's. So like, it ch ch you know, chuck, 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 like a salvage ship or something. Like call it a salvager or something. But you know, it, a tugboat. I don't know. It chugs on over, it sits here, it drops a diving bell, and you can farm... Well, not farm, but you can salvage um, metal or something, you know, instead of having to get the cars. As a, you, this could be another form of of metal. Or if, you know, you add in... It, well, if Pajama Llama adds in things like um, sicknesses and stuff, maybe you could find antibiotics on a ship, because, you know, ships do have medical... They have, they have a, well, they have a sick bay, don't they? Do I have... Yes, I do. I need to build one of these. And you know what? I am actually going to build it right there. Firewood is produced here. And then we can stick it there. Also, I think this has changed. I don't know. This now produces two firewood for every one log. Can you remember if that has changed? Yeah, it doesn't look like my boat is getting built, so I'm going to deconstruct that. Uh, a mooring point. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to deconstruct it and try again. Uh, so there's a bug live on, on the episode. Apparently, if you start building a boat, save the game. There's a fl fucking fly flying around. Um, save the game. Log off or whatever, quit the game, but the thing hasn't been built, it doesn't get built. In fact, you know what? We'll turn off... We'll turn this off. So, we'll cancel the deconstruction, and we'll see if they... Nope. They are asleep. I should probably do something about that as well. Uh, do you know what? We can come down here. And go one... Two... And... Come on. Three. There we go. Probably not the best use of uh, resources right there, or the fact that it's all the way over here and the main area is over here, but I, I plan on, you know, zapping around with some some things. I've been experimenting in my own personal playthrough, uh, which is how I know that the map is a loop. A, ta a time loop, I guess you could call it. Hmm. You know, you're kind of stuck in this ever consistent... Actually, that's a really good... I like the fact that the thing loops because it's a really, really dominant... It's not a metaphor, but it's a dominant thing of, you know, you're stuck on this globe that's just flooded with water. You guys are going to wake up at some point and there is no end in sight. It's a pretty dominant... I want to... Do you know what? I'm going to say metaphor. I know it's not a metaphor. It's something else, but it's a pretty dominant metaphor. How is everyone doing? Oh, we're on actually we're actually on six water, so I need to get this water thing built. Someone's gonna go down and build the beds as well, aren't they? It's a cracking shame that boat of mine isn't getting built. I have no idea what has stopped it, but there we go. Good job. I'm part of the Pajama Llama Discord, which you should all go on if you really like this game. You can go check it out, see what they're talking about, get involved with them, have a bit of fun, uh, meet up with the community and all that kind of stuff. It's 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 a lot of fun, and I'm glad that I actually have it on my iPad because I could probably 
get this information to him pretty quick. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but, you know, you can see it's broken. Because the log should be... It should be straight. Yeah, do you know what? We're going to deconstruct the mooring point, and we'll have to redo it again. Hopefully it deconstructs the boat as well, but if it doesn't... Ooh, I have no idea what we could possibly do. Damn. Damn it. That is annoying. Uh, the thing is as well, you know, they have, you know, it was there to build. So the build queue was only then taken up by that and swimming. But if there's something to build, they will normally finish what they were doing and then get into building it. So... Are they even going to deconstruct it? I don't know if they're going to deconstruct it. Is is uh, Kevin Co is he Co uh, did I call him Kevin Costner? Oh, wrong one. Yes, it's still Kevin Costner. Is Kevin Costner going to deconstruct? No, Kevin Costner is helping with building. Huh. Very interesting. As I say, as I speak into my knee. Very interesting indeed. Would someone please go and deconstruct that mooring point? Nope. Okay. Why you do this to me? Oh, there we are. Five bottles of water left. Oh, oh no, he's 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 just he's putting wood on it. Joe, you know if I get rid of this, remove that one, and then remove that one they now have nothing else to do apart from build that bed and deconstruct that mooring point and of course put wood on the drying rack are they going to do it how close to being finished is that hmm it appears there is a glitch let me just back it on my keyboard Backing on my keyboard, whacking on my keyboard. Okay, it looks like there's a glitch with the fact that because that boat wasn't finished, we can't deconstruct the mooring point. Okay then, looks like I'm going to have to build a new mooring point. So, real quick, bippity boppity boot me that up and then give me that. I am going to construct a new mooring point. Tis the only thing I could possibly think of. And you know what, real quick. How much have we got? Uh, nope, nope, nope. There we are. Apparently we only have two firewood. Damn. Hmm. This is not going the way I hope. But I think I'm going to leave it on that cliffhanger right there. Because that's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Suspense is built. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm. Looks like I'm going to have to leave it there. Oh, well. We will try and get that tweeted out. Or tweeted out. Well, I have my Discord open right now, so I could probably just drop them a message. And uh, point them towards this episode. But yes, as you can see... We did previously, you know, the boat was being built last episode. It appears to have come detached or something like that, so they won't build. Uh, we clicked on deconstruct. They they should have started deconstructing anyway, even though they were still building and stuff. Someone would have come over at some point and deconstructed it, but they didn't. So, yes, it appears there is a bug that must be, must be dealt with. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today. You know the drill, like, share, and subscribe. And until the next time, which should be Thursday, <laughs> stay awesome.